एस फाइल सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चर एस फाइल सिस्टम स्ट्रक्चर हियर सो विच मीन्स सो वेन एवर यू डू द एस ए पी इंस्टॉलेशन आफ्टर द इंस्टॉलेशन एंड ड्यूरिंग द इंस्टॉलेशन एस ए पी विल क्रिएट द सम फाइल सम बाइनरीज सम सम स्ट्रक्चर इट विल क्रिएट एट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लेवल सम फाइल्स विल बी क्रिएटेड एट ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम लेवल सो दो आर द इम्पॉर्टेंट वैन बिकॉज वेन एवर यू आर स्टार्टिंग द एस ए पी इट विल ऑलवेज लुक दो फाइल्स दो कॉन्फिग्रेशन फाइल्स those profiles and parameters and kernels always it will look those directories at operating system level so whenever you do the sap installation sap will use the usr sap under that there is a sid folder will be created either ecs or whatever the sid you created it will create the one sid here right usr sap sid usr sap sid it will create the these things here usr sap sid it will create it here right so then usr sap sid if any if you install anything here it will create the usr sap sid if we go to the here then if we go to the folders then here usr sap so sid whatever the sids you have you have installed the these two sids are populated here under the sid again there is a file system structure will be created here one is the sys the second one is called the so d instance number the third one is called the so ascs instance number like that it will create the three folders it will create it mandatory folders here right under the three folder again there is a so sys exe then one more folder is called the sys profile profiles are available then global directory sys exe sys profile and sys global directory there are the three sub folders are available here so exe means sys exe means here so here all the kernel files are located in this exe directory here this is called the global kernel directory global kernel directory here right this is the profiles all the profiles are exist here normally we will change the profiles under sys so exe all the kernel files are available here in this location it's available all the kernel files and kernel files means os level binaries so your gui nq server message server all the work process are working which means because of the the os level there is a process are available the binaries are available here so because of this reason your sap system is up and running fine because of this reason your sap system is running here so if you don't have this kernel files here then sap will not be started sap will be down it will not be started in this case here so that is the reason always this kernel files are very important here so so the kernel files location is this is the location under usr sap sid sys exe right and also here under the sys we have the profile directory profiles are available default profile instance profile and acs instance profile this profiles contains parameters as well see here parameters so how many work pro so normally to change the parameters and everything from here we will do the changes right so normally in the sap level we will go to the rg10 rz11 we will do the changes in the our system profile parameters we will do the changes here so in case if you don't have sap level access here also we can do the changes here how many work process you required then what are the things you need to change it what are the parameters you have to add it all those things you can add it here so we discussed the parameter concept sap level rg10 and rg11 so we can do the changes here right so some parameters at operating system level also we can do the changes from here as well right yes our sap sid sys profile in our profile also we have the this parameters are available here we can do the changes here we can do the changes in this parameters as well right so this is the sys directory then global directory in the global directory we have the job logs and spool logs some security settings are available here so where the job logs will be stored under the global directory and job logs and spool logs and some of the and some of the security settings here and some of the security settings some of the security settings here it is available here right 
job lock the global directory some of the security settings are available here right ccxe profile directory and global directory here right global directory here some of the security settings are available here right so these are the things we required here right the next one so these are the very important tomorrow someone ask you so interview can you tell me the way the job blocks are located in the OSL well usrsep sid six six global directory global directory can you tell me the full path then usr sap sid six global full locks okay where the profiles are located you don't have access to sap level then how will you change the profiles and parameters under the profile directory so you have where the kernel files are located global exe kernel file directory exe means kernel only okay where it is located under the sys and exe here the kernel files are located in this case here all right that is the one so the next one the next one is the d instance number here so here also we have the exe directory same exe directory but here we have the log then sec directory and so here we have the work directory here right same as like here as well in the ACS also here we have the exe directory then log directory then sec directory and work directory here under the work directory here right so here the instance number so work directory sec directory log exe data so these are not much important but the folders are there here here the data folder data folder it contains the statistical files statistic file phasing files are available here statistical files are available here statistics files are available in this directory here right statistics files means history data all those things are available as a data folder here right so exe same kernel files only same kernel files only here both are same three locations it is available so igs log folder here alerts related information s logs those related information will be available sec directory certificates related psc here in the s trust sso2 psc here the next one is the work directory this is the one which is very very important to troubleshoot the issues in sap side if sap side if one of the troubleshooting directory is called the work directory here so here every file every file it will create as a so dev underscore dispatcher dev underscore rdp dev underscore icm dev underscore work process all the information if you have dev underscore means the every file starts with the dvv underscore only if the work process underscore zero one two three like that we have the process if you want to check the icm related things if you want to check the dispatcher related things if you want to check the availability log so all the information is available here all the information is available here all the information is available in this case here right all the information is available here so everything we can we can so track it here when the system is available so what happened with the my dispatcher what happened with the my dispatcher log file so are there any are there any memory issues are there any geo disconnect issues here i think this is the one of the GUI disconnecting operating system level error network error found and so some disconnections happened so basis user so basis user gui disconnected so broken so the connectivity got broken potentially there is a network issue so you can see some many many things you can find out from the log files here many things we can find out in the software gui disconnect so the person is got disconnected from the gui right so gui so then you have the all the details are available here right so these are the dispatcher related logs, the gateway related, RFC related, then work process related logs, work process related logs here. What's happening with the, my work process? All the information is available here. All the information is available in this case here, work process related logs and all the information is available here. The underscore work process concepts here. Okay, the underscore work process concept here, right? So here, ESR, SAP, SID, then D instance number, work directory. So under the work directory, we have the log files are available here. So these all are the instance application server related work directory. All the application server related application servers means in the application server, what are the process are available? Dispatcher, ICM, IGS, work process and buffers all are available. So only those things related here. Sir, we have the message server also, right? Then where? 
message server means it's a ACS. ACS, ACS work directory. Here we can see that dev underscore nq, dev underscore message server. Those related log files we can find out from here. Those related log files we can find out from the here, right? So these are the so ACS work directory here. So here also we have the data, right? Here also we have the exe, ACS related nq, only nq, message server related exe files here. Then log folder, then here sec directory, certificates, ACS related and work directory. So the most popular is required for our troubleshooting is called the D instance number work directory. This is one of the important directory for our troubleshooting purpose is required. So something is happening with the SAP, something is not working. So something you need to investigate it, you need to find out the root cause. So something your manager asked you to check why, what happened yesterday, 7 to 8. So the SAP level last, you will check it out. You need to check more. Then you can go to here work directory. You can just go to the work directory. We can, so we can, we can find out, we can just fix the issues here. We can fix the issues here. That is called the work directory related issues here. Dev underscore work cross zero, one, two, three, like that. We can check it out here. So this is one of the common troubleshooting directory for Every SAP consultant will go with this SAP troubleshooting directory will fix the issues here. Okay. This everybody should remember the path. USR, SAP, SID, D instance number, work directory. Here we will check the logs. We will fix the issues like that. We have to tell to the, during the technical discussion, you have to tell. So where to investigate it? How will you investigate it? How will you fix it out? Go to the work directory, check the related log files. Then we can fix the issues we can fix the issues here okay so this is the way we need to investigate more on the sap side here okay this is the one so this is the os level file system directory structure here suppose if you want to change the profiles sap level you don't have access or you are unable to access the sap then go to the profile directory here you can open the profiles then you can check it out here here open the profiles here then you can change the profiles and parameter values. You can change it here. Profiles and parameter values, you can change it here. So we can just increase and you can change it here. Whatever the parameters you want to configure, add, remove, whatever you want, you can do all the changes here in the system. Okay. So that is the OS level file system structure. Okay. Any questions on this one here? OS level file system structure. So it's clear, right? You need to understand all those things here. It's very important. And one more thing is here. Okay. That is the OS level small topic file system structure. 